Hello, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Retro Gamer. And welcome officially to tournament number four of the Roulette of Sadness Naked Gaming Edition. As you know, this is going to be the last tournament we're going to be holding before we entirely focus on the Loser's Revenge Wheel. Remember that unlike the regular Roulette of Sadness, I am going to be doing just uh, Loser's Revenge after four tournaments, whereas the regular Roulette of Sadness, um, since it's a little bit more important than this one, uh, not less entertaining though, uh, in that tournament or in that version of the Roulette of Sadness, I'm going to be holding five tournaments before doing the Loser's Revenge Wheel. So we can make actually that wheel a little bit longer than this one coming up. So this is the last tournament we're going to be holding, at least in this version, for the time being, in this current cycle. And of course we have four regular rounds. Today's video is going to be focusing on that only, the four regular rounds. And of course the video that you will watch tomorrow, Sunday, will have the two remaining games for tournament four, rounds five and six, from the Loser's Revenge wheel. So the first category is Arcade Masterpieces Show, from which we have... Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, this uh, Sonic game that uses a trackball, uh, which was arcade exclusive as far as I know. Space Invaders 95, uh, the attack of the Lunar Loonies. We got Street Fighter 3 Second Impact Giant Attack. And Salamander, I actually mistyped it, yeah, because it says Salamander. It's Salamander 2. But you know exactly what I mean. So instead of correcting it, Let's uh, spin the wheel and find out together the first game of Tournament 4. That you should be watching by next weekend. Because this weekend is only, or will be only about the, uh, the wheel spins. Alright, it is going to be Salamander 2 by the looks of it, yes sir. Sorry for not typing it correctly. I guess I'm uh, expressing myself clearly enough so you know what game exactly where you're going to be watching. Alright, the second category is going to be gaming in the 80s. Probably you already saw the other categories that we have for this uh, current tournament. So we got four games. Uh, one game from 1980, which is Defender for the arcade. A game from 1983 which is Mappy, also for the arcade. Then we have a game from 1986, which is Action Fighter for the Sega Master System. And finally, the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle from 1989 for the NES. So basically I did, uh, or I put a game like every three years of you know release, one from 1980, one from 83, another one from 86, and the final one from 89. So let's go. Yeah, shoutouts to Doug, of course. He wants to be on the video, no matter what. So, the game we're going to be doing is going to be Defender on the arcade. Perfect. This game is super hard, though, so I don't think I'm going to be uploading more than just a single video of it. Trust me, that's going to be more than enough. So anyway, so we have so far, um, I think we have two shooters, right? I already forgot the first game, can you believe that? Anyway, the third category is No Nintendo Allowed. Unfortunately, there is one show that I'm not going to be covering in this current cycle of the Roulette of Sadness, which is the Backlog series. I covered pretty much all of the series, Capcom vs. Konami, Nintendo vs. Sega, uh, Chilean Nintendo gamers, Chilean Sega gamer, arcade masterpieces, gaming in the 80s and the 90s, and many others, that casual gaming, the replay series, Hack Me Hard, I played, or, or at least I covered all of them, pretty much all of them, except for the backlog. It's the only one series that I haven't um, displayed or covered in these um, four tournaments, so probably it will be the very first show that I'm going to be featuring um, from Tournament 5 on. So on No Nintendo Allowed, we have, representing the consoles, Metal Slug 3 for the Neo Geo, 
Then we have Galaga 91 for the Game Gear. Then we have Mortal Kombat 3 on DOS, for of course the PC version, and Nitro Ball by Data East for the arcade. So let's see what game we're playing as a round number three. Alright, it is going to be Mortal Kombat 3 for DOS. It's actually one of the hardest versions of Mortal Kombat 3. Like, I think I beat Shao Kahn one time. It was kind of recently, but when I was a kid, I used to play this uh, DOS version at a, at a neighbor's house. And Shao Kahn kicked my ass every single time. But back then, I didn't have the strat that I have today. Um, which I think is kind of consistent for all of the versions as far as I remember. So the final category that we're going to be covering in these uh, four tournaments is going to be gaming in the 90s. Yeah, we did gaming in the 80s and now we're doing gaming in the 90s. So in this one, I did something kind of similar to gaming in the 80s instead of doing like uh, chronological or counter chronological order or, or the years as such. I decided to do a game from 1991, then a game from 1993 then 1995 and then 1997 of course covering different systems especially 16-bit consoles so and from 1991 we have Bonk's Revenge on the TurboGrafx-16 I have done the original Bonk's Adventure to death on different channels and shows uh, but I haven't done I mean I did stream like long time ago the the sequel to that which is actually a better game in my opinion Bonk's Revenge so that's why we are putting on the wheel then we have Gauntlet 4 for the Sega Genesis from 1993. Then again from 95, Boogerman on the Super Nintendo, which I did live stream like many years ago as well. And the Dome Patch, which is, as you know, a shoot em up, a bullet hell kind of, uh, for the arcade from 1997. So let's find out what's going to be the last game for the Railroad Rounds in tournament number four. Well, round four of tournament four. This is essentially what this is. And it is going to be... Alright, it's going to be a close one. Alright, it is going to be the Dumb Patch for the arcade. I remember three out of the four games, but I forgot the first one. So let me go back to the arcade masterpieces... Um, Round two, do a, a recap. So yeah, we're doing Salamander 2 first. We have pretty much three shoot em ups out of these four games. So yeah, we got Salamander 2 on the Arcade Masterpieces category. Then we have Defender for the Arcade as well for the Gaming in the 80s round, number two. Then round number three, No Nintendo Allowed is going to bring us... Mortal Kombat 3, a fighting game actually, on DOS, and finally for round number 4, gaming in the 90s, we are going to have the Dome Patch for the arcade. So yeah, coincidentally we're going to have 3 shoot em ups out of those the, the 4 regular rounds. Of course, on tomorrow's video, things could be a little bit different in terms of the, the games that we're going to get selected. I'm going to be choosing 2 out of the 42 remaining items that you will see on the Lucas Revenge wheel. So I'll see you tomorrow.